is just a very quick video showing how we create um, the image you see on the screen right now. Um, I strapped a GoPro to the top of my lens so you can see how we shot it and this is a hearing dog uh, called Tandy who's a chocolate and white working cocker, beautiful dog. Um, a little bit timid so we had to be very quick with this shoot and as you can see from the video it just took a matter of seconds to take the image um, working with uh, the trainers at the hearing dogs. Go around to my right. Go on. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, I'll get my shot. So once we get the images back, we put them into Lightroom. Um, I've gridded them up here. Um, and this is the image I'm going to work on, image 56. Uh, we start with everything in Lightroom. And all I'm going to do for a minute is just check all of my colors. I'm looking for a nice range of tonality, but I'm also looking for the blacks to be black. You want them just about here, because that will clean up really well. And I want just enough range in the shadows, and just keep the whites under control. I found you get the best effect if you don't push the whites too hard. We can always pop the whites later if I want to. Once I've got that absolutely how I want it, we're just gonna transfer it very quickly into Photoshop. The rest of the edit is all done in Photoshop. Okay, so here's my image. Um, now I know what I want to do is to be able to expand the width of the stage the dog's sitting on. So the first thing we'll do is crop it up, and create a little bit more width to the image, like so, and just level it off as best I can. That's about right. And I'm just gonna expand the width of the stage, just avoiding the dog's whiskers there. My other side. Okay, I'm just going to give it a very quick clean up on the material. I'm not too worried about it stretching all of the grain because I'm only going to have a hint of it um, in the final image. I'll just get rid of any annoying bits of hair. This is the materials are black velvet, um, which I found to be the best for absorbing light except where you want it. So we've lit the stage that it's on, but the rest of it really will just go to black. And you can see, if you looked at the, the video at the beginning, you'll be able to see just how we did that. A little bit of velvet dropped down the middle of a Lastalite highlight. As I said in a previous video, one of the things with this that we're having to do is just make everything very, very fast because we don't have lots of time. That We can't spend hours on these, we have literally 10 minutes per dog to photograph it and broadly the same amount of time again to retouch. So I'm just getting rid of the very worst of the lumps and bumps in case they pop up in the final edit. That's okay, um, I'm going to duplicate that layer and I'm just going to whip around it with a lasso tool. And in nice and close but not too close. Sure, I don't touch his whiskers again. Her whiskers. Okay, and I'm going to invert the selection. Fill it with black. Okay, and that's what I'm going to start to work on. Very quickly, put a curves layer on top of that. And this is just so I can see what's going on. Somewhere around about there, we'll do fine. And I'm going to work on this layer using the burn tool set for shadows and because of the intelligence in the tool it means I can very quickly work around the edges just leaves the edges of the fur alone okay across to the other side I'll work on the bottom bit in a minute on its own. Quick check to make sure I haven't missed anything. If you leave little bits of white at this point, 
they will show up if you print it. So it's really important that you pay attention. Down to the floor again, back to the dodge tool. Run along this edge. We're going to paint this edge back in, so I'm not overly worried if I leave a few bits in here. The better I can get it, the easier the next stage will be. Okay, so now I've got a dog completely on black. And I always work the same way around. I always um, try to create a completely isolated dog and a black background, and then I'll put the staging back in. So with a bit of a mask, I'm going to rotate the canvas a bit and make it a bit easier. So all I'm doing is I'm just masking out that black layer that I've just created very carefully. I just want a thin hint of the stage that it's sat on. I don't want too much of the background, so I just want the image to be about the dog. Have a quick look. Just tame it off a little bit on this edge here. You see, I'm getting a little bit of the, um, the grain through where the fabric rather has stretched in when I did the original transform. But I'm not too worried about that. If this is going to be a competition image, um, always going up to be blown up really big, then I'd have to sort that out. But at these at our normal kind of levels, I won't notice. That's about right sure those claws look good. At this point I can do any final retouch work on any of the fabric that's crept through. Nothing too major. I'm quite happy at looking like fabric. So that's it, that's most of the dog done. I'm then going to create very quickly a couple of curve layers. Uh, I've just got a shortcut to do this. I'm just looking for a burn layer and a dodge layer, which are just curves. So if I want to bring up the eyes first, I'm just going to paint in here with white, just to highlight that eye a little. Um, the dog's furs, I think he must have been eating some food. So we'll just get rid of the worst of those. Again, it's a dog, so it's, it shouldn't look too perfect, but you don't need to look like it's just buried its nose in its food dish. Be careful to do that. I've always got my finger on the undo key. Any water droplets? The fur. Okay. Now using the dodge layer again, I'm just going to paint into the mask areas I want to highlight. And sometimes if I just want to highlight the shine in bits of the dog's fur, I might do that here. And then I just want to take the edge off this lower part. So again, just painting onto the mask. Okay, that's done. If you want to see a trick, a quick trick with eyes, I'm just going to copy. So Shift, Control C to copy across all layers. Control V to paste it. Control S to turn it into smart filter. And then I'm going to use an unsharp mask, a very heavy duty one, just on the eye, um, with a very large radius. Right. Okay. 
like that. Okay. Mask it off, and then I can just paint in if I wanted to accentuate the eyeball. You can just, it's very subtle, you can just see the difference in there. And to finish off, I'm going to turn this one into a black and white because I've already done a color version of it. Stamp everything. Turn it to smart layer. I use Nick Silver FX, but you could use anything. And I've got a whole set of settings that I keep a list of. It's a nice high structure image. Maybe just turn the structure down a little. I might just vignette up the edges a tad. Of that. And then I might just pop a little bit of tone on. So with that, I just use the um, color balance tool. Just give it a little bit of tone in the mids. And there you have it. One quick edit of a hearing dog, all done and dusted in about five minutes.